Ad Victorium, Initiate. Now that everyone's here, let's go over the plan. Foundation reported super mutant attacks potentially originating from this location. We're here to determine if those claims are founded. And if so, eliminate the threat. We'll advance information. Immediately report anything you see out of place. Are we understood? Copy. Ready as I'll ever be. Move out. Some regular wildlife here. Seems like the super mutants would have cleared that out. It's a possibility, but we need to explore a bit further before we can make that call. Hey, look, we could take a team photo. Stay focused, Houston. This is no time for jokes. Initiate Norland is right. Follow his lead. Right. This appears to be a dead end. There's some gore here. I'd say the mutants have left their mark. Initiate, what's your read on this location? So it's likely there are still super mutants nearby. Good call, Initiate. Let's do a thorough sweep of the room. There may still be a way forward. Roger, I'll take the far side. Excellent initiative, Norland. The remaining two of you, Stick together and cover this area. Be sure not to miss anything. Effective reconnaissance can mean the difference between life and death. Right. I'll try my best. I mean, I'll be thorough, Knight. Sir.
Look, there's a break in the wall over there. The wall really caved in here. Ugh, I hope that doesn't happen to us. Anything to report? We should take a cautious approach to that. One wrong move, and we could all get trapped inside. I suspect there's still more to see here. Did you find anything else? I see. In that case, I might send the others to scout ahead. Understood. Everyone, we need to cover as much ground as possible, and the threat level so far has been minimal. Initiates Norland and Hewson. See if you can squeeze through that crevice and report what's on the other side. Initiate Norland. You take point. Stay in radio contact, and pull back as soon as you encounter danger. You may be eager to serve the Brotherhood, but being a good soldier is also about knowing your limits. Move out. Roger. I'll make the Brotherhood proud, sir. You mean all by ourselves? Oh, okay. Got it. I mean, yes, sir. You'll stay with me and find a way to clear the cave in. Don't do anything reckless. I need all of us to get out of here in one piece. Step for our mission. Those mutants came flooding out.
first stop on our premium wild cave tour is the dead end, where the final stand up is cornered and captured by the marshal. Those mutants must have gotten trapped inside sometime after the attacks. If this passage wraps around, Initiates Norland and Houston could be in trouble. I made a premature assumption that the area was safe. We have to do everything we can to make sure. Hold on, I'm receiving. We have to find them. Move out! Norman! Oh. This... This shouldn't have happened. Norland was confident. Maybe too confident. Despite my order, this is my responsibility. I swore to myself I'd never let this happen again. This isn't your problem to deal with, Initiate. You and Romani have already written me off, so it's not like your opinion will have changed. But I'm not important right now. We have to find Initiate Hewson. Initiate Hewson can't be far. Initiate Houston. Wait! Don't come any closer! I, I I triggered some kind of trap. If if I move, then just just get away. My armor can take the blast. Cover your head! What? No! Don't! Knife! No, all of this happened because of me. There are more mutants.
isn't just for show. You're still badly injured. Without the power armor, you'd be dead. I I'm... I'm so sorry. This isn't the time for apologies. R right. You're right. We can't let this distract us while Initiate Houston is busy. You need to search the area. Find out if this is truly the source of the attacks. I suspect we haven't killed our last mutants yet. Be thorough. All this gore can easily cover up something important. What have you found? A Pip-Boy. Maybe the mutants ate a Vault Dweller. Uh, sorry. That wasn't... We should have Scribe Valdez determine the origin of the Pip-Boy. Maybe the mutants took up residence in a vault. Go ahead and take the Pip-Boy to her. Initiate Houston will patch me up here before we return to... And will give Initiate Norland a proper burial. Good work. We fought in honorable service to the Brotherhood. All of us, ad victorium. Stories are hiding in the mountain. Hey, have you seen Marsha around? Girl with black hair and the spirit of youthful rebellion? That means you haven't seen her then? Oh, drat. I was really hoping... Never mind. Just let me know if you see her. Knight's orders. I'll prioritize it, but we really should have someone out looking for Marsha. You know what? You're right here. If you don't have another assignment from Knight Shin, then I could really use your attention on this. I'm going to run a diagnostic on this Pip Boy. Talk to me as soon as you're available. I'm pretty worried. Something I can help you with? I show that I'm fit to be a scribe when I'm patrol day and night. Are you available now to look for Mars? She was supposed to make a trip to Foundation, but a group of initiates recently returned from there and nobody remembers seeing her. First, start by talking to her younger brother, Max. He might... I'm going to remain hopeful that something didn't happen to her or anyone else who's missing. If something did happen while she was in our care, Let's not worry about that just yet. Are you here to help me find my sister? Well, the last time I saw Marsha was when she told me she was going to Foundation for some things. I think that something bad happened to her. It, it was just supposed to be a quick trip to Foundation, but she hasn't come back yet. I just know she would never leave me on purpose. No, she never says stuff like that. It's usually, learn to behave, Max, or can you be quiet, Max? 
Her best friend, Luis Ramirez, might know something. He's an initiate too. Understand the past as well, or we're gonna make the same mistakes moving forward. How can I help you? What has Marsha done this time? Missing. Uh, <laughs> no, she's uh, she's just running an errand to found. Damn it! Fine, I, I can't bear the thought of something happening to her. I can't be sure, but I think she may be with the Raider War Party. Good luck, and. I'll go. It's my fault anyway. I know you're eager to help, but Sheena and Burke are the best there is. Anything that gives them trouble is going to be extremely dangerous. What are you doing here? You have some nerve showing up here. I'll let Marcia speak for herself, but I'm pretty sure she's not. Hell no, I'm not. How about you don't waste everyone's time and just... I'm glad you asked. Oh, it just so happens we're planning a dinner party. The brother, we'd like to deliver a special thank you for showing up in Appalachia without even needing an invitation and laying down the law on this filthy, treacherous wasteland. You've done enough helping already. You had your chance and you blew it. What about Sheena and Burke? It's their lives that are on the line, not yours. I value their lives as much as my own. I can't trust... I can't put their lives in the hands of the Brotherhood. That makes them as good as dead. If we stand by and do nothing, then they will be dead. Sheena and Burke went to AMS headquarters to retrieve something for us and haven't returned yet. Marsha. Damn it. Well, it wasn't my plan for you to know about this, but now that you do, I guess there's no way around it. Marsha is not going back with you. She's going after Sheena and Burke. She's been bossed around by the Brotherhood enough in her life. Why don't you do something for her for a change and help out? I'm not going back to Fort Atlas. No one gave you the right to make my life decisions for me, and the Brotherhood doesn't own me. I feel better having one of us there instead of blindly trusting the Brotherhood. Make sure someone is focused... One of us? You really mean it? I'll prove to you, Pierce, that I belong. You being willing to put your life on the line for us is indication enough that bring my people back alive and... I'll meet you at AMS. I'm not coming back with you after, though. I have a new family. something. I've had to be the one who takes care of Max and me. I'm not used to accepting help, so thanks. Now that that's taken care of, we should look around and see if there's any trace of Sheena or... I already did a sweep of this floor before that mercenary attacked me and didn't find anything. Let's try...
good firefight in a while. Unidentified intruder detected. Huh? Beginning. Can't escape. <laughs> Standing around. Necklace. I'd recognize that. That's Burke's necklace. I've never seen them without it. My mom had a similar necklace that she always wore. Never took that thing off. I still regret not being able to retrieve it from her. Her body. Thank you. You're right. Max and I will keep her memory alive. Maybe I can tell you about her sometime. If you want. At least we know that Burke and Sheena made it to-
recognize them. That's one of the raiders that went with Sheena and Burke. I hope they're still okay. I'm so tired of all the blood and death. I'm tired of losing everyone that I care about. First, my mother. You're right. Sheena and Burke, come on. We've got to... A note from Sheena. Can't believe they surrendered. The Raiders. They really... Of course. They'll always be my family. I just couldn't stand staying in that place anymore with... One day, they'll understand. We're almost to the top of AMS.
Don't put up with anyone getting in the way of us or our caps. This ends now. Intruder, identify yourself.
afraid to kill you. Shunit and Burke are? Captured? That's good. That means they were taken alive. We need to figure out where these holding cells are. See if you can find anything else that hints toward their location. I have no idea, but that son of a bitch is gonna pay for messing with Sheena and Burke. Please hurry. See anything. There you are. I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm hit. The Hellcats are unstoppable. You wrong person to Shit, <laughs> but they're just a bunch of amateurs. Shit! 
guess it was nothing. Marsha, what are you doing here? And with this snitch? What the hell? The Brotherhood set their lackey to try and bring me back. I told them I refused to even consider it until we found you. They're actually not as bad as I thought. And they helped me find you. But anyway, are you two okay? You look pretty beat up. Been better. Good work on giving these mercenaries hell, Marsha. You'll make a great addition to the war party. So, can you get us out of here or not? I appreciate your help. Don't worry, you two. We'll get you out soon. Sheena and Burke, we can talk. What's up? It's hard to talk about, but you've been so patient with me. I've really ever only talked about it with Ramirez, but... Alright. The town that Max and I were living in with our mother was being threatened by a group of raiders. When the Brotherhood came into town, they decided to be saviors. They actually thought it would be a good idea to arm a bunch of ordinary people with high-tech weaponry. When the raiders came, they took the weapons and slaughtered our people. If we hadn't tried to fight back, my mother would still be alive. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I'm just filled with so much anger and hurt. Sure. I'll hear what you've got to say. You, Ramirez, Odessa, you've all shown me that maybe all Brotherhood members aren't the same. But I can't just leave the war party. We're family now. I never thought that I would be faced with having to decide between two families. You're right, though. I can't just abandon the people at Fort Atlas. Marsha, no. Why would you go back to them? The Brotherhood are our enemies. I'm not joining the Brotherhood. But I can't just abandon everyone at Fort Atlas. Their initiate helped me see that. I'm sorry. I really am. I'll never forget the way that you all accepted me into your family. I hope that one day we'll be able to see each other again, and it won't be on fighting terms. Thanks again. Hey. Mercenaries. Welcome back, Initiate. I see that Marcia has returned and in brighter spirits than before. I don't know how you managed it, but... Great work! Did you discover anything else on your mission? Hmm. 
This letter is concerning. While Marsha wasn't missing, it seems that these Hellcat mercenaries and the Blue Ridge Caravan Company are both involved in the other disappearances. Please, take this to Romani as soon as you can. She'll want to hear about this. <laughs> I understand your frustration, Mr. Knapp. Finding everyone that has gone missing is my top priority, but we need more evidence before we can act. Evidence? Well, what more do you need, huh? Are you saying my Cassie is a liar? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Initiate. Excellent timing. There's something we should discuss. Mr. Knapp here has come to us with another missing persons case. My niece Cassie. Cassie Holloway. She paid some caravan and folk to help her travel here from out west. Sent me some letters just before she set out. Them letters arrived just fine, but she didn't. I went and spoke with them caravanners, and they tell me that my Cassie never set out with them at all. Those, uh, Blue Mountain Woodsons, uh... The Blue Ridge Caravan Company. Really? This letter said they would acquire more people from Blue Ridge? Interesting. This is the first real lead we've found, and it connects directly with what Mr. Knapp is reporting. Huh. I actually had my own suspicions about the org- We need to investigate this Blue Ridge Caravan Company immediately. Well, they have an office at the west end of the Big Bend Tunnel. An ish Thank you, Initiate. I mean, friend. Sorry for the informality, but we should keep a low profile. Don't want to spook anyone that might be listening in. Huh. Don't get too used to that. But listen, I was hoping we could talk for a few minutes before we head upstairs. Let me buy you a drink. What do you say? Oh, cut the crap. I'm being real here. Are there some things we need to hash out? Come on, pull up a stool. Great. Take a seat. Oh boy, a customer! What can I get for you? Neat! <laughs> well, you sure as shit ain't getting it on the rocks. Okay, here you go. Enjoy. Huh. A fine choice. Salomati, my friend. Aw, oh, I'd rather not ruin this. I just need a brief moment where I'm not a paladin to a headstrong... Well, that's interesting phrasing. Join. Never really thought about it that way. I was already in the National Guard, helping people, maintaining peace. That was my life. The Brotherhood didn't feel like a new organization. It felt like regrouping with my people. A return to form. Maybe some ranks and verbiage changed, but the heart of it was there. I'm not sure I even gave it a second thought. It was. Even knowing what I know now, I have no regrets. They were my people. My comrades. But things changed as time rolled on. As I'm sure you know, the views of the Elders and I... differed greatly. 
Sometimes I think... No. I'm certain that I was selected for this mission in order to remove my perspective and influence. The Elders saw my potent experience as a threat and knew I would never align with their goals. What better way to prevent my meddling than to send me packing on a cross-country venture? I often wonder... If they ever expected me to report in at all. To make it here alive. Joke's on them, I guess. Alan Connors. That's right. Dear, dear friend. The two of us were from the same unit in the National Guard. Alan had been my rock through every storm I weathered. We survived the bombs together, joined the Brotherhood together. He was more than my right hand. He was really a lifelong companion. I'd never really considered a world without him. Not just to me, either. To both Valdez and Shin. He was like a big brother. Even a father. He was always there for them. That's the part that gets to me. He was an important person to damn near everyone. It's what makes his absence hurt even more. Indeed. He was the bedrock of this team. And things were never the same with Shin from then on. But when we lost Alan, Shin stepped up to take on many of his responsibilities. He was on top of the grief. That must have been a lot to handle. It led him to fall back on what he knows. Rules and doctrine. He doesn't trust anyone else to help him see beyond that. Not like he trusted Alan. And because of me, because of a call I made, we all lost him. I know Shin will never forgive me for it. Thank you for hearing me out. It's an honor to pass on his story. He deserves that and so much more. I think that's a fine idea. To whom? Thoughtful, but I can't accept. How about to you, Initiate? A harbinger of change and a force to be reckoned with. Miss Alamati, now, on to business. Let's head upstairs. And remember to keep a low profile. We're just a pair of friendly traders looking for potential business. Trouble. Ms. Mayfield, my name is Layla. I made an appointment oh, to speak with you. Have you returned to Please, plunge Joanna is just fine, dear. And while all this oh, cloak and Sorry. dagger hubbub is flattering, why don't we cut to the chase, Paladin Romani? Well, that was short-lived. Okay, Joanna. It appears I underestimated you. And looky there. You've got one of these famous vault dwellers in tow. Oh, and I know this one. Made a splash around here. Say, when are you planning to provide some of that skill to my caravans? I'd appreciate if the job offers were saved for later. We're here on pressing business. Okay, Paladin. Down to brass tacks, then. It's not an accident that I finally opted to meet with you, after playing hard to get for so long. We know you're interested in the folks that have gone missing. We are, too. 
Been looking into it for a spell now. All right. That's fine by me. Right now, the most important thing is finding everyone that has gone missing and returning them home. Being upfront with your involvement in this now will be looked upon favorably, because... Slow down, Paladin. This is not an admission of guilt. We are just as concerned about these folk as you. We're willing to cooperate. And if you're hoping I'm about to spill the beans on some secret abduction scheme... Honeyed words, but we... Better to just let you take a look for yourselves. Ares! Come on in here! This guy looks like some kind of guard. Probably armed. Don't take your eye off him, Initiate. Thanks. It's good to follow your instincts. They rarely steer me wrong. You ring, boss? Harper's Ferry, the train tunnel. Mind showing our guests the route? Oh, crap. You really want to go back there? That was exactly my thinking, Ares. Head on over to that tunnel and show this duo of detectives, the scene of the crime. Does that sound amenable to y'all? Okie dokie, I'll meet you there. It's the big fancy train tunnel, just east of Harper's Ferry. Now, time is money, and I've burned a bottle and plant worth of caps chatting with you two. So if you don't mind, please direct any further. Fine, but after reviewing the app, by all means. If you find something that gets us answers, we can talk till the Brahmin come home. Every in. Initiate, glad you made it here safely. That Ares character is further ahead. I should mention. Every instinct I have is telling me not to trust him. It seems we don't have much choice for the time being, but we'd be wise to keep an eye on him. All right, you take point. The guns are the ready. I spotted some feral ghouls earlier. we're looking for is further in the facility. There's a trick to getting in. Give me one shake of a lamb squatch's tail to get it open. <laughs> Let's see, 30 days past September, carry the two... Is this for real? And you it's just a little further ahead. Please, after you. Fine, but don't think we aren't keeping an eye on you. I can't blame you. I know I'm a real looker. Just past this door here. I'll get it open. And 
that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Speak, Ares. What's a holdup? Making something to deal... Yep, just like I thought. Let's chat. Welcome to the Ninth Circle of Hell. First, the good news. It's bring your own paramilitary night, so the paladin drinks for free. The bad news is that I can't unseal that door. Here's the quick version. Clever little me locks that door by setting off a bogus gas leak alarm. But it looks like in order to lift the lockdown, you need to verify there's actually no gas leak. The door is real picky like that. Oh, I'd love to, but there's a little problem. If you'll cast your steely gaze to the left, you'll see a massive impenetrable wall of strangler vines. To verify there's no gas leak, we need to get to the pump room. One guess where the pump room is located. Winner, winner, red steak dinner. There were some engineers living down here well after the bombs fell. Looks like they lasted a few years even. Which means they had a way of fighting back the vines. Maybe start by looking for how they did that. Mm-hmm. I'll just skulk here in the corner in case another way of opening this door comes to mind. Let me know if you have any luck. Try not to die a terrible death. This sounds like a very contrived way of getting us killed. Stay sharp, Initiate. Initiate, look there, behind that gate. Seems like some kind of thrown together lab. Do you suppose they were making something to deal with the vines? I think I see some kind of chemical on the ground there. We need to find a way to unlock this door. Open sesame seed, eh? I've always been more of an everything bagel person. Now we just need a way to change that phrase into a series of numbers. Well done, Initiate. That was some impressive detective work. Let's have a look at this. Aha! My hunch was right. According to the label, they made an extremely potent herbicide. Judging from this container, it looks like it's meant to be dispersed into a larger system. No sprinklers in here, so... Dear Lord. The facility's water line? I would explain the bodies out there, but... Why? They must have known this would happen. Time to dwell on that. Initiate, let's look for a station where we can access the water line. This is what we need to beat in the vines. Here we go. This looks like it connects to the main water line. Let's talk next steps. I should be able to expect alarms. And the company that alarms tend to attract. Ready for a fight? Okay. Fingers crossed and guns at the red. Let's take a look here. Okay. The chemical has started dispersing into the water systems. Damn. It's detected a foreign substance. Prepare for it to get noisy in here. Initiate, I'll need you to keep them off my back. Ad Victorium. Ugh! <sighs> 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 
facility. It's not now. I'll need to reach the drainage system if we're going to affect the vines. Chemical is pumping throughout the entire water system now, including a cesspipe that was for disposing of unwanted chemicals. Well, one sleazy company's environmental negligence is our gain, I suppose. Those vines should be weak enough to break through now. I, uh, wouldn't drink the water if I were you, though.
docile, robotic entity? That's troubling. lift the lockdown. Let's get back to that terminal. And that's that. Time to head back to Ares. If he has anything to do with all this. Your boss looks like she's about to strangle me with one of those vines. Something happened in there? Ares? Between the feral ghouls, the strangler vines, and that insane sheep robot, I've about reached my limit with the place. And your antics. I don't know if this is some kind of trap or elaborate cover-up, but we need to get through that door and get answers. Now! Whoa, whoa, trap? Where's this coming from? Hold on. Did you say sheep robot? Uh, like the Baba kind or the killer robot kind? Ares, the door! Now! Please! Okay, just give me a second. Yeesh. Nearly there now. We're getting closer to the truth. I can feel it. Agreed. Alright, let's see here. Login credentials, check. New terms of employment, yeah, yeah. Benefits enrollments expired, sure, sure. And done. Trust me now, I can lead the way, so if you change your mind, it'll be easier to shoot me in the back. Thank you for opening the door. But know that if we find anything linking you to this, you're still going to have to answer for it. Add it to the catalog of questionable things I already have to answer. Thank you. 
Seems like you've been pretty thorough. Are you ready? Excellent. I'll take what you've collected. Let me take a look at what you found. I just need a minute to review it all. Pull out your decoder rings, kids. It's detective time. Hmm. Let's see. That's concerning. Wait a moment. This name. I know this name. I think I've seen enough. Initiate, we should discuss our findings. Well, it seems like Cassie was indeed a part of this caravan group, but I think it'd be a good idea to step through the evidence together. I may have been assuming too much about Blue Ridge's involvement. I'd like to be on the same page, so where would you like to start? Yes. It would seem this was a routine trip, until the end. Something kept them here, and forced them to set up camp so close to home. Not quite. While that seems like a believable conclusion, the evidence points elsewhere. They were bunked down here due to a rad storm. A large group of civilians and merchants accompanied by just a single guard? Sitting ducks. Indeed. It looks like we have a clear account of their last moments here. That was my take as well. Based on Cassie's description and the letter you found earlier, we can assume they were these Hellcat mercenaries. The total number of people they've abducted, though, is staggering. Nearly 15 in this trip alone. Right, the Manifest. One name in particular really stood out to me. Did you notice it? That's right. Dr. Blackburn. Not only was he present on multiple trips, but Cassie makes mention of him speaking with the armed strangers. Likely these Hellcat mercenaries you've dealt with. I imagine Dr. Blackburn was the one employing them. I knew the name sounded familiar. I had read it in Shin's report of your very first assignment with us. Think back, Initiate. Do you recall why Dr. Blackburn had been seeking our assistance? That's right. Dr. Blackburn was seeking assistance with his experiments. Something about curing diseases and helping people. I suspected it was too good to be true. And the evidence here certainly doesn't look promising. But could he really be kidnapping people? Indeed we do. Dr. Blackburn was hiring these Hellcat mercenaries to kidnap people from this route. It would appear they were cautious at first, but took advantage of a Radstrom to steal away an entire group. An unfortunate end, but there's still hope of finding them. The only thing left is to report back our findings and determine Blackburn's location. I'm glad I had you here, Initiate. There's a few things I'm sure I would have missed if you hadn't been here to help. I do believe we make a pretty great team. I know you do, Initiate. I appreciate it. I really do. I'm a bit ashamed of how quick I was to jump to conclusions on this matter. It's something I know I need to change. But even still, I'm thankful that you continue to place your trust in me. Anyway, we should get back to Atlas and report what we found. If we can determine where Blackburn took this group, we may be able to track down Cassie, and perhaps countless others. I'll meet you there. Good work, Initiate. Rash behavior was unfitting of my position, and frankly, unfair to you. Ah, water. I am sorry either way. If you really want to make it up to me, I've heard you guys have some killer rocket launchers to spare. Absolutely not. <laughs> 